next? Something coming up, something interesting. Absolutely, we're looking forward to that. There's a man called the latest. Can he bring it in into the ring? And he's up against another man who is known as the golden boy. Is he the golden boy? Oh, yeah, good job. Oh, yeah, good job. Well, the only thing golden that I've seen about him is his dressing. <laughs> gold, 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 gold. Yeah, but he's, oh, we see. he's a lot more than that. And then you can see them on the screen there getting themselves ready, you know, doing the shadow boxing stuff. And that's the golden, golden man. boy. So much gold around him. Gold from the head to the toes. <laughs> so let's see whether I can bring the gold into the ring right here on Go TV Boxing 26. And uh, look at uh, what we have seen so far. Tosi Osai Bobo defeated Tajani Namusha in the National Super Bantamweight Challenge. Technical knockout it was in round two. And of course, it was a unanimous decision victory for Bartolomeo Abuchi, a boy against Samuel, uh, African Mayweather, Debayo. And we just saw a surprise split decision victory for the lion himself, Prince Moye, who was up against the youthful Moshoot Funcho. Up next, Aziz, latest Ayobami against Sadiq, Golden Boy, Oyakojo. Let's get into the ring for the National Lightweight Challenge contest. The box has to be called in uh, by the ring announcer. It's going to be eight rounds of boxing. Don't forget. Well, apart from this bout, I will still be seeing the other bouts. Um, and then, of course, talking about the upcoming uh, bouts for tonight, don't, don't forget that this is the first time we're going to be bringing eight bouts to you on the night of Go TV Boxing on the 26th edition of it. And uh, it will be National Middleweight Challenge after this one coming up. Suleiman Tanko Jafaru up against Abolaji Afonja Warrior Rashid. Ten rounds of Middleweight Challenge. And after that, we'll begin to see some of the big boys. Uh, Muritado, uh, Moshayasu, Mosayahu, uh, taking on uh, Steven. Freeman Kadima, he was the most valuable boxer of the night, winning the Mojisolo Gunsoya, you know, uh, one million naira, right there in the battle. That young man brought in some fighting skills when he beat Emirates in that bout. Absolutely, in and it will be followed by the National Light Welterweight Challenge, which is the prelude to the main event of the night is Yusuf Ogobui who will be up against the man called the KB Sniper. Can he snipe his way out of this one? It's Kabiru Salau for a national welterweight challenge. I will be watching out for that one but after that comes the main event of the evening. International featherweight challenge Ghana versus Nigeria. Emmanuel Agogo Mensa against Taiwo Eshekbo. Agbaje back from London. We'll be watching out for him. Ah, I can't wait for that bout, Nero. I really, I shot by so, so, so exciting, and we cannot wait for it. Finally, it is time to bring the boxers for the next bout into the ring. Let's go into the ring for the ring announcer to do just that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still Go TV Boxing 926, a flight guide production. All fights are sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control. Our fourth fight for the night is an eight round national lightweight challenge. In the red corner, Ayobami. Letters Aziz uh, Latest right there, 34 years old and of course weighing in at 62 kg his reach is 65 and uh, his height is 1.71 coming into the ring with one of the popular Afrobeat hits or Afrobeat hip hop, you want to call it that. And uh, will he be the latest boxer this night? Only time will tell. In the blue corner, Sadiq.
there you have it. It's got a lot of fans right here and it's so flamboyant. Uh, but uh, we hope he will be able to back his uh, flamboyance up with some fantastic boxes. He's age 22, the height is 1.68. And of course, he's uh, also weighing uh, a bit heavier than his opponent. Can he deliver the goods in this one? Only time will tell. He weighed in at 62 kilograms. He's had six fights. One four. Lost one. Drawn one. Three. By knockout. Ayobami. Latest. Aziz. In the blue corner. He weighed in at 61 kilograms. He's had three fights. One three, drawn one, two by knockout. Sadiq, golden boy, oh Yakojo. Our judges are Tayo Olaifa, Shegu Adesoya, and Latif Moiz. Our referee is Sheyi George. Continue, please. You throw in the tower, the white tower. Are you good to fight? You protect yourself at all times, okay? If you know your boxer cannot continue, you throw in the tower, okay? Please, you protect yourself at all times. Let's check out the tail of the tape for this bout uh, before he gets on the way. Uh, well, of course, Ayobami Aziz has got six fights, one four, drew. Uh, one, of course, a uh, lost one. Uh, three of his six wins uh, coming by way of knockouts. Uh, and of course, uh, Sodiko Yakujo um, has uh, three fights, uh, two wins, and one draw. All his two wins are uh, coming by way of knockouts. Tail of the tape for the National Lightweight Challenge context. It's going to be eight rounds of boxing. Golden boy from the head gold. Uh, to the trunks, uh, gold, and of course, uh, blue. Uh, to the toes, uh, what is uh, his uh, footwear, it's uh, all golden. That's why it's known as the golden boy. I love his uh, trunks. Absolutely, and I must say, I also love Latest's trunks as well. Both boxes are quite flamboyant. With the uh, velvet yeah. uh, on the side of... Uh, uh, just remind you of uh, Victor Bennett in a bad one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yakujo is a very explosive boxer. And uh, let's see whether our latest has got enough in the tank to withstand those uh, flurry of uh, hard punches that Ay Ay uh, Yakujo has got in his tank. It is the golden boy starting a, a quicker out of the block for the two boxers. Good. Left fancy boxing there coming from uh, Aziz, the latest. Good counter bunch. Uh, boxing coming uh, from the latest, who is keeping himself. In the fight, good combination coming from the latest. Another good job there. Good combination. 
body and uh, headshots coming from the latest who's scoring quite a lot of punches and late in this uh, first round of this uh, eight round contest Yakujo concentrating a lot more on body punches. Both boxers standing toe to toe. And this has been an explosive first round, I must say. As we enter into the final minute of the first round. You know, one interesting thing is that uh, most box uh, fights we're seeing tonight are all rematches. You know, this is another rematch uh, for the two fighters. Uh, Ayobami, Letes Aziz and Sadiko Yakujo. Uh, both of them have fought um, earlier on, and it was a, it was a split decision draw, a split draw uh, for the two fighters, uh, and they are back here with a rematch. Uh, that fight was uh, on the 4th of June, 2022, and it was a split draw. Oyakujo versus Aziz, a rematch is on here. A lot of old grudges out there to be settled, and. Uh, the fans have enjoyed what they have seen for the first round right here. Yakojo up against Aziz. And it was a total total stop end to end. Big stop coming from the latest there. Nice left and right combination. And of course, uh, Oyakujo landing a few of his own combinations as well. thinking coming from uh, latest there and the fans love it Ayakujo doing the right thing at this point in time working on the body and uh, trying to free up the uh, guard around the face area both boxers uh, more interested in fighting on the inside Golden boy missing that upper cut Oh, he runs into that left jab from Ayobami Latest. And the, I must say, good head movement coming from Latest. He's been able to, you know, ride out the storm of uh, Oyako Joss' delivery, and he gets in a good combination there once again. Oh, double downstairs and double upstairs uh, for the Golden Boy. I'm liking the fighters are uh, just doing it on the inside. As he's doing a great job so far. Golden Boy comes to his own. Give and take. And that's the thing about both of them. They love to fight on the inside. So you're going to have that head-to-head uh, -head a lot of the times. But I think it's not good for them. They should step back a bit so that they can actually concentrate on, you know, landing the punches correctly. Because when you have your head close to your opponent, it doesn't give you a good sight uh, of your opponent so you can land the killer punches. <laughs> I 
And the interesting thing is that both of them weighing in almost uh, the same weight, so they're well matched for each other. Both youthful. Latest trying to score something big there, but he wouldn't count, and he goes in with a few jabs, and that's the end of the battle. Latest are doing it after the bell, but then another round that comes to an end here. In this rematch between Latest and Golden Boy. These two boxers are as eager as their fans right there who want to see something explosive. They need to culture their punches a bit more. They have thrown some very nice punches, but they haven't delivered. Good body punch they're coming from Aziz. Oh, Aziz with a uh, nice left. Nice combination coming from Aziz. Aziz scoring some vital punches at the early rounds of the third. Some penetration from the golden boy. Well, Lita is almost turning his back, and uh, that's dangerous for him. Good jobs there uh, coming from the, uh, the golden boy. But these two boxes are well matched, I must say. A little wonder they had a speed draw in that uh, first bout. Body. Oh, he walks on the body and he gets uh, Aziz eventually. Gets another jab in as Aziz was trying to go down. Says. Nice jab again coming from Ayakojo. He seems to have the momentum in this third round. Can he follow it up with a, a good close into it? So really two boxers that know themselves uh, inside out. Every move by the other is countered by the other. It just, uh, it just looks like they're tri they actually sparring partners. <laughs> Interesting fight it is. Uh, no fight has been able to match uh, the, the second bout of the evening, Abuchi and Adebayo. I know, Abuchi and Adebayo gave it their all. And that's the fight, uh, the winner of that. Oh, big one there coming from the golden boy. Two big uh, punches there, of course, sending Aziz a bit backwards there. I was going to say that bearing any other interesting fighter that will outdo that fight, the winner. Oh, yeah, oh, good Brilliant left to right combination there, but he gets rocked by himself as well, but he's coming back forward again. This is what the fans want to see. Good job. Nice two right-hand jabs coming from uh, the latest. And there you have it.
that's the thought of the eight round contest right here tries to connect with the right there but as he steps back not a lot of punches thrown in this uh, fourth round which is halfway mark and a good tip coming from Aziz, uh, escaped that uh, onslaught from the golden ball. Oh, that's a good one for the golden boy. Just followed up, uh, it didn't stop uh, as uh, late as I wanted to. He just uh, stopped him without a right. That's what you call it, taking the, the wind off the sail. I did a good counter punch in the form uh, latest by Obami. I Obami trying to penetrate the guard of uh, the golden boy. The box has at the center of the middle of the ring. Wide swing uh, from the golden boy. Another left hook there coming from the golden boy. And another right there, catching Aziz. He tries to go for another left, but he misses that. A bit more calculated right now, talking about the golden boy, who seems to be, you know, scoring the points away. And you can see at the corner of golden boy there, one of the coaches is pretty much as animated as golden boy himself in the room. And the fans chanting his name. Golden Boy seems to have come here with lots of uh, fans uh, from his hood. Uh, those are the ones uh, chanting Golden Boy, Golden Boy. There you have them. Golden Boy supporters in the crowd. The man that is making his return, the go TV boxing, Afonja Wario, Abolaji Rashid, the Ilori Born, uh, he's going to be taking on Salah, Suleiman Jafaru in the National Middleweight Challenge Contest. That's what's coming up next after this. Back into the ring for these two boxers. Interesting fight we're having here. Latest in blue and golden boy. And golden blue. Good combination there coming from Ayako Draw, but his latest steps away from there. Without, uh, with little or no damage to him. Those body punches here again. Body shots.
Good combination there coming from the latest. missing that left. Both folks has a miss in the middle of the ring. And that's the golden boy that uh, goes in there trying to fight from inside. A penetration of his guard from latest. Another time he penetrates the guard of uh, Golden Boy. As uh, latest Ayobami doing a good job on the inside. A few more seconds to the end of the fifth round right here. Golden Boy gets a chance again from his fans who are in the Moladea Koya Thomas Hall at Tasmin Balogun Stadium. Can he get it job done? I doubt it. Sixth of the eight rounds, latest, still standing. Oyakocha, golden boy, still in the ring. And it's a eight rounds of national lightweight challenge right here at the Mola de Okoya Thomas Hall of the Tesli Balogu Stadium in Sirulere, Lagos. right and the chance has come much earlier this time around can go the boy deliver good uppercut there almost catching Aziz with the devastating left there but uh, Aziz rides that but he gets caught again while trying to go to the body of his opponent tries to launch forward but Aziz gets in there we've had little or no clinching in this bag so far it only says one thing both boxes they mean business want to get jo this job settled once and for all but I must say it's still pretty much very close Ralph exactly uh, uh, somehow, somehow, just maybe the Golden Boy might be edging it slightly. 
on my card. And both boxers are headed for uh, who is going to get a victory. Or will it end in another draw tonight? When both boxers are met in a battle in May. Oh, that's a big one up from the Golden Boy, Oyakojo. Um, but my problem is uh, the, the issue I have with Oyakojo is whenever he connects, you'd expect him to follow up. But you cannot blame him because Latex himself is a fantastic boxer. And uh, when you fight a boxer like that, you have to be very cautious. You don't launch and you don't go full throttle against them. Unless, of course, he's showing a lot of weakness, then you can actually follow up. Box boss has a miss to so break the round at the round. That round comes to an end. Gotta be this, the seventh round of when they return. That's the penultimate round. Let's looking a bit more busy this time around. I think his corner has told him that he might be trailing, but Oyakojo comes back on again. As he's using that right jab a whole lot more. Trying to set up uh, his south ball. Oh, that's a wide swing uh, coming from uh, the golden boy himself. The boxers, uh, uh, boxers, they love to trade at uh, the middle of the ring. Latest uh, Lancer, but uh, Ayo, oh, that's a good one. Uh, penetrating the guard of uh, latest Ayobami there is golden boy, Oyakojo himself. They've done a whole lot uh, right there in the middle of the ring. Absolutely. Oh, that's a big one uh, to the body. Big body shot there it was from a Littes Ayobami. Go to be boxing night, the 26th edition right here. And I hope wherever you are in the African continent watching your World of Champions, uh, you must be enjoying this one. I'm enjoying this fight. Uh, this is the second fight to really, really impress tonight. Uh, apart from that, uh, Abuchi Adebayo's uh, the second part of the night. We still got like about uh, four more bouts to go. Let's see whether from those four bouts we will be able to get something to really give Abuchi's uh, bout uh, a run for their money for the Mojisola Gusaya Memorial Trophy. And of course, a uh, uh, handsome cash prize as available for the most valuable boxer. And you know, this time around, they've uh, um, the fly card have introduced uh, you know, the second uh, position. Uh, so they say we'll go 500,000 this time around. Uh, that's a new introduction. And that's a great uh, uh, cause for a round of applause, that kind of thing, uh, for them. So it's not just a winner takes all. Uh, winner takes all. Uh, one million naira for the winner. Who goes half a, and half a million naira uh, for, for the, the second best boxer. Second best boxer exactly. Yakujo sending some left to right combinations through, but uh, missing them both. And followed up the two jabs, which was able to stick in there. You take a look at the eyes of um, the golden boy. The eyes are looking golden too. <laughs> I, I, I took a look at his his uh, his trainers, and I found out they were black and gold. Exactly, it's golden from head to toe.
the chant of golden boy and the, the crowd it's the final round and golden boy goes in there with a looping right Ayobami with that upper cut. Ayobami almost got himself in trouble there. The boxers are very cautious in this last round. Good one there coming from Ayobami once again. And he's using the clinch. He does seem to be uh, to have tired a bit out of this. There's a timeout coming and he think it's around his gloves. And the tapes uh, are coming off. So he will have to cut them off or find another one for it. That's sorted out and they're back again. Good boxers. Love to actually go head to head. Hook there coming from Golden Boy. And Aziz, the latest, will not have any of it. He tries to get his own left hook in. Both boxes missing their punches right there. Even with the Vuvuzela, you can hear it. A golden boy, a golden boy. Nice combination coming from us. He's the latest there. Interesting one from him. Not a lot of punches, you know, exchanging right here. But I think uh, if you ask me, Aziz has done a better job in this round. And there you go again with another left. the end of the bout ladies and gentlemen what a fight that the two boxers gave the fans enjoyed that one i hope you enjoyed it out there watching on the world of champions from across the african continent from lagos nigeria we'll be expecting the decision of this one and the what latest all the way from bodija in Ibado. yeah even is one of the very popular boss garages uh, in that Asian city in southwest Nigeria. I think he's fighting out of a pardon. Alongside Oyakojo, I think they're both fighting out of a pardon. And so they've been brought to Lagos here to settle scores <laughs> after the first uh, Lagos. The split draw. They go to a neutral ground. <laughs> like, exactly. It was a split draw when they fought in the pardon uh, before their home fans. Uh, so let's see what the decision will be this time around. Here in the neutral ground of Lagos for the two of them. Golden Boy there, watching closely as the gloves are being taken off.
gentlemen, George Sadiq, George Shagwa this way, scores it 77-75. George Latif Mui scores it 76-74. George Tayo Olaifa scores it a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, the match ends in a draw. There is no separating these two fighters. Another draw, second time.